Even in death, Hale continued to fight. Dr. Malikov found a unique protein in Hale's blood. He isolated it, created a vaccine. Finally, a cure for the Chimera virus. We were all inoculated, saved again by Hale one last time. Hale was the hero, and I was the villain. Ninety percent of the world's population had been killed or converted by the Chimera. Those of us remaining did what we could to remind ourselves we were human. Susan and I found each other, fell in love. We both wanted to forget the past. We vowed to stop fighting and start living. I kept that vow as long as I could. Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, sorry to wake you. Did you have a good sleep? Dale said he's got your bullseye ready at the range. Thanks for staying up with Jack last night. Oh, I didn't think he'd ever get to sleep. Maybe he had another fever. Or maybe he just wanted to spend more time with his daddy. Looks like you're good to go. And just remember who worked all damn night to get those... Oh no, they're here. Joe, Death Squad is coming into town. Come on. Let's all get to our stations and stay quiet. Tommy Dean, tell us what you saw. About a dozen hybrids. And, and a stalker. Headed right down Main Street. Okay. Everybody to your scouting positions. Stay hidden. We'll let him walk through town and move on, just like last time. Got it? Go. Lester, Joe, get to the bowling alley. Nate and his boys will be waiting for you. You got it. Come on, Joe. This way. Get him out of sight. And get back underground. Everybody! All scouts, report in. North outpost, clear. South outpost, clear. West outpost is clear. Tommy Dean, report in. Tommy Dean, do you read me? Susan. Joe. Oh. I thought I lost you. I'm okay. How is he? Oh, fever's down. A little. Joe, I can't reach Tommy Dean. His radio's probably out again. Should I send Lester? All right. I'll check it out, okay? Joe! Be careful. Tell me I'm crazy. What the hell is it? It's a terraformer.
Susan, you there? I was just gonna call you. A guy just walked into town. Says he knows you. Get a few drones following him. I've got everyone underground just in case. No, we won't be safe underground. We have to evacuate the town. here just in time. Where's Susan? Last I saw her, she was near the bank. Scrounge for weapons and ammo. Then get back to town. There's more of them on the way. <laughs> Joe! Susan, is Jack okay? Yes, he's in the tunnel. Get him. Grab all the food, water, and blankets you can carry. Lester, barricade that street. Chimera ground troops will be here in a few minutes. We'll have to hold them off till the rest of the town evacuates. I want to know who got us into this mess. Malakoff. Goddamn fool, you let him right to us! Still have the anger issues, I see. What's going on? Nothing. Just a crazy old man. Joseph, you must listen. When Nathan detonated the bomb in Mexico, it acted as a catalyst. Power surged through the Chimera Tower Network toward New York City. There, it activated a bridge through space and time, what they call a wormhole. Its purpose is a mystery, but its effects are clear. That tower in New York is slowly freezing our entire planet. I've been trying to find you for months. We're moving everybody upstate. We might have room for one no, more. No, you don't understand. I came here for Joseph. We must travel to New York City. We must shut down the tower. Not a chance in hell. Temperatures are dropping faster. We, we will not survive the winter. <coughs> Any of us. Joe, more dropships in the main street. I'll be right there. Joseph, I'm the only man alive who knows how to shut down that tower. I need you to protect me on the way to New York. You want protection? Here. Follow the tunnel under the church. I'll be right behind you. I'll call you and let you know when everyone's out. Don't wait for us. You and Jack get out of here. Promise. Come on, Joe! Doing? We gotta get out of here. I am tired of watching my son die. <laughs> Susie, we gotta go. Dr. Malikoff says that if you go to New York... What are you saying? If there's a chance, if there is any chance at all to give Jack a better life... Yeah, but if, if I go, I might never... 
Don't make me choose, Joe. Don't do that to me. Don't. Go. You'll do your best, right? Right. I love you. safer on the water. You are doing the right thing, Joseph. Shut up and drive. Someplace warm. My name's Charlie Tent. You must be Joseph. How do you know my name? Malakoff. Joseph. He's been calling for you ever since we found him. It's infected. You got any penicillin? Hmm. There's one little problem. Our only aircraft is out in the open with no power. What do you want? I want a new power supply. Same kind they use in those Comarin dropships. Dropship, huh? That's a big job. Life's pretty simple, Joe. We fight, or we die. I'm guessing by virtue of the fact that you're still breathing, you are one of the fighting type, like us. Am I right? <laughs> All right, here's the deal. You give the old man some pills, I'll help you take down that dropship. And once the VTOL is powered up and he's healthy enough to travel, you give us both a ride to New York City. You better be worth it. Now, let's get to work setting up that ambush. That's how it's done. You saved my skin, Joe. I won't 
You look at that mess. Well, Joe, looks like you earned that trip to New York City. Jack, they're in trouble. It was just a dream, Joseph. I need you to go check on my family. What? My wife and son, in Baxter Springs, Oklahoma. Oklahoma? <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, thank God you are alive. Come, this way. Joseph, if we use this train to travel through the mountain instead of over it... I knew y'all would be coming soon. Saw you fighting on the bridge back there. You're the one we've been praying for. Come on inside. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. The train? train don't work. My husband could fix it if he were here. Left two days ago to fix the town generator. When will he be back? Should have been back last night. Jonathan, my husband, is the leader of our congregation.
You ought to have enough to get you straight through to New York. Do us one more favor, will you? Of course. Pray for us. Joseph, I have made many poor choices in my life. Colvin, Daedalus, Hale. I'm responsible for some horrific things. You and me both. There is very little chance we will succeed in New York City. Four years ago, Serper tried to attack the tower. We lost over 1,000 men. I'm afraid you may never see your family again. I know. But we're doing our best, right? Yes. Yes, and we may still have a chance. I have been thinking. The Chimera are perfect. Killing machines. But they have no thought beyond what the hive mind tells them. We can defeat them, but we must be creative. They're unpredictable. We must use their power against them. Joseph, are you okay? Yeah, but I'm stuck. Behind you! I'm warning you! I'll kill you! No, don't! Don't! Oh, God, you... Oh, you fucking son of a bitch! <laughs> you ready to have some fun, boy? Don't die. You just have to... Yes, Mick. Joseph. That's your name, isn't it? I found this book among Dr. Malikov's things. He was a brilliant man. My name is Herbert Sawicki. I've been mixed lackey for over three years. I'm tired of being a victim. No more. I have a plan to escape. But we need to move quickly. You see that drone up there? There are four of them around the prison. You need to disable them. Here. 
I made something that should keep you safe. You can pull the trigger to fire quickly, or hold it down to build up pressure for a more powerful shot. Take the radio too. I'll get the door. to free some of the others, but we gotta move. I didn't think I'd ever get out of there alive. If there's ever anything I can do to repay you. Take care of each other. Hello? Not even sure if this thing's working. My name is Joe Capelli. This message is from my wife, Susan. I miss you. I made it. 
I'm in New York. Close to the tower. I think. If I can make it there alive, I'll try and destroy it. But... Malikov is dead. If he were here, I might have a chance. I did like you said. I tried my best. I love you. Tell Jack I loved him.